JB Cycles here on November the 8th uh, with an update on Bitcoin and I'm just browsing some cycles for the S&P Sunspot cycle, three, three and a half year cycle, 18 month cycle so my regular S&P video will come tomorrow but today I'm just looking at stuff so let's do it together so uh, yeah, we have this trend line for Bitcoin, and I expected uh, I expected a breakdown, and we got that. So let's have a look at the 17-week cycle. Uh, the 17-week cycle has a low in mid December, and the current top was a, an early top, a bearish left translated top, and I'm expecting something similar to the previous major top in 2021 so we have broken well we have broken the trend line we have back tested it and we are seeing continuation and I'm expecting a downtrend into mid December that would be a big A then a bounce B early next year and then continuing down with a C move down in the winter and spring and we could continue with uh, more waves uh, down into the summer and fall but we have to evaluate how this decline how, how it behaves and let's see we have broken the 17 week offset so that's also a bearish sign and we have the four week cycle here I also have included the S&P. I discovered that I've been, I have been having a lot of trouble with identifying the four-week cycle for the S&P, but it's much easier for Bitcoin. And uh, the cycle has the same influence on both the S&P and Bitcoin. Normally it has, but <laughs> recently there's a lot of disturbances going on for the S&P so although if the cycle is going down you cannot really trust that it will be working for the S&P but I'm still showing it I think it is helpful so we see the four week cycle has a low around um, November the 17th I'm expecting Bitcoin to continue down soon. We are making some kind of a bear flag here. We could bounce higher, but eventually we should go, should go lower into November the 17th, then a bounce and even lower mid December. So I, I thought S&P looked stronger and needed some kind of a um, topping formation here, but no, we, we just follow Bitcoin and we follow the cycle we are seeing weakness uh, so for S&P I'm also expecting a downtrend into no November the 17th but you know we could bounce here first a little bit so I guess that's pretty much you know this was my general scenario for Bitcoin so yeah following it nicely maybe a, a little bit more bounce and then going down also we have um, uh, one cycle and two cycle offsets so here I'm comparing with the two previous cycles and as you see <coughs> those two broke down pretty soon here so around Sunday you know there's a kind of a pattern for um, for Bitcoin it very often likes to uh, start rallying, rallying on Sundays but um, sometimes that fails or call it it inverts um, so that's a, a kind of maybe some kind of a sign of how is the, uh, what's the health of Bitcoin if we rally on Sundays then it's all good but if we if we f crash down on Sundays well then uh, that's not so good yeah I guess that's that that's it for Bitcoin and I'm just looking at some stuff here so let's do it together um, here's the sunspot cycle so for over a hundred years uh, people have been saying that the sunspot cycle is influencing stock markets and other markets and we do <coughs> often have uh, some 
spare markets around solar maximum or a little bit after solar maximum but you know there's a lot of bear markets here that are you know before solar maximum or long after solar maximum so you know um, there are shorter cycles here because the sunspot cycle is around 11 years but you do have uh, bear markets more often than 11 years so you know this one in 74 you know is this bear market caused by the solar maximum or is this one in 1987 crash was before solar maximum and the financial crisis was you know long after solar maximum so it's not very helpful not helpful at all but there is kind of a pattern that um, often very often you have a bear market so here I'm here I'm measuring the the S&P after solar maximum so either we have some kind of a bear market starting right at the solar maximum or a little bit later than solar maximum and you know when we turned down in February it was you know perfectly following these with early weakness but now we are more following these with late weakness or extended so I have them here you know the two averages so we I thought we were following this blue one and we're going down to make a low but no we have extended and now we are following this purple one you know uh, I we also have the 1930s depression here I haven't included that one in this average because it would influence it too much so I'm just looking at it it's not very helpful so we also have the three and a half year cycle and um and let's see where are we here the three and a half year cycle so but i'm looking at uh where is the cycle topping and right now we are around here at week number 195 and we have two previous bear markets or i should say bull markets that ended at this point and they only had you know 20% downside and around 12% downside so you see bull markets ending at this point in the cycles normally don't have a lot of downside uh, if we had topped in February you know that w would have uh, been um, a much more bearish potential there also bear, bear markets beginning at this point normally last around 15 months and there's kind of a cycle within the cycle here so in the 1960s we the three and a half year cycle tended to make early tops and then we had late tops in the 1980s and early tops again around well in the 2000s and right now we are kind of making late tops so you know between these two points that's about 40 years <laughs> maybe that's some kind of a cycle i don't know but right now we we, we are tending to have late tops um, relative to the th average or theoretical cycle also we have the um, the 73 week cycle or that's the 18 month cycle I really don't know what this is what is causing this cycle but it does kind of work for yeah and there's some um, uh, one special condition here sometimes we make a bull market high at the cycle low it happened previous here in 2000 and you know and and this is suggesting we could make a low in December and rarely and have a final top in the winter and then the bear market begins you now here are some other analogs a low around december but at the top after new year and then the bear market begins so we have to see that's it for this video and see you in the next one